Today I am going to demonstrate the Anarin Atmosphere Development Tool featuring the Element Library with the LPS25HB piezoresistive absolute pressure sensor from ST Micro. So we opened up our dev tool and placing on the designer panel a connection element and a task. Basically this gets us going when we connect the mobile app to an MSDB we can then fire off a signal to say start running a task and the task we can then hook up to other things to, uh, to make them run repetitively. Then we're going to get our STMicro LPS 25HB from the element library. As you can see there's some information and links and those are the elements that come with it and we're going to grab a, a temperature um, and raw pressure element. So we're going to draw connectors from the task to the elements to have them uh, run continuously. Those are uh, functions uh, in the firmware for the, the uh, development kit for the board. And they're going to be, uh, we'll, we'll show you later on how that's hooked up to the ST micro sensor. We're going to um, add some labels to our layout panel. And these labels will receive a value from the elements um, when they run. So we'll drag connectors to the labels and the value uh, that is returned will go in the label. And we've got a little math to do uh, for the for this sensor here. We're going to uh, set it up with JavaScript to kind of a fixed value. We, we can get some floats back from these so we don't want it to necessarily be a huge decimal. Um, and when we're going to template out our labels to show you the uh, what it's coming back in. The sensor is coming back in middle bars and we're going to uh, try converting our temperature to um, right now we got it in Celsius. I think that's the uh, that's the default. If you want to convert it to Fahrenheit we have to do some uh, conversion. So maybe to make it easier on the end user we'll um, add some graphics in a bit. So there, we're going to use it to fixed just to keep it to two decimals. And that's one of the, the cool things you can do with the atmosphere development tools. You can uh, put a lot of JavaScript in your connectors and you can manipulate values and uh, add functions even. So it's very cool. So we're going to set up some images for our visual display. And I've already uh, gone about and made some graphics for a, uh, for pressure and temperature. It's basically uh, just a vertical chart and this one um, will show the millibars and also your standard pressure in um, I guess in HG is what they would call it. The you know the kind of barometric pressure that you might be used to seeing in a weather report. The, the graph kind of compares millibars to that. And here we have a um, vertical graph, like a thermometer. Um, our value is coming back in Celsius, um, but visually we can show it looking uh, in Fahrenheit as well. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to use a neat little trick with the progress bar. We're going to flip the progress bar to a, a vertical element, and we're going to put it on top of our images. And then we're going to use the value returned from the sensor to um, make the progress bar approximately uh, somewhere on that scale, you know, within a uh, degree or two. And the way we're doing that is I've done a little math. The end value um, for that is going to be 90, as you can see the the temperature range is negative 40 C to 50 C as uh, 90. So it's 0 to 90 on the progress bar. If you're thinking in terms of percentage. So now what we're going to do is um, do the same thing that we just done with the temperature uh, using the vertical progress bar with the pressure 
and we've got our values for that which um, we're going to drop in here and set it up so that it's a percentage uh, based on the value returned from the element and that will make the, the pressure go up and down on the graph based on the percentage of what it could be and then we're going to build our project building the project uh, makes it available on the mobile app tied into the user account that you built the project with and it also allows us to use the atmosphere programmer to program the MSDB and there you can see the ST microsensor uh, is hooked up to our MSDB we're gonna log in and scan for the device connect and there we go our task is now running and reporting the pressure which is a thousand millibars give or take and then the temperature and it is a um, it's kind of an ambient temperature so it should be getting the, the area around which right now is about 18 celsius if you want to learn more visit atmosphere.anarin.com thanks for watching